You know what sounds good to me? Like, awesome? Talking about psychedelics, like LSD, DMT, magic mushrooms, ayahuasca, trippin' fat, trippin' fat, trippin' fat, trippin' fat, trippin' fat, trippin' fat. Trippin fat. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Zacharias, and this is Thank You Universe. And today we're going to talk about a subject that is very near and dear to my heart the magic healing properties of plants, specifically psychedelics. <sighs> Where do I even begin? Well, I guess I should start with a disclaimer and say that in this video, I am not endorsing or promoting the use of any illegal substances, no matter how awesome they may be, and I will not claim that they have any health benefits, even if they do have health benefits. So I'm not claiming that, and anything that seems like I am doing that is just parody. And it's hypothetical. But <laughs> let's get into it. So psychedelics can be a very profound experience for a lot of people and it can be life-changing. It has a lot of benefits for your mental health, for the way that you look at your life, and it can cause such amazing change very quickly. So if I were to describe the psychedelic experience, I would just say Remember when you were a little kid and you were just sitting out in nature, maybe you were just sitting in some grass, playing with the grass, or just looking at the bugs, and you're completely content, and you're not worried about anything, and you're just satisfied with life? That's what psychedelics feels like to me. It feels like being a kid again, at the low doses anyways. <laughs> we'll talk about the higher doses later, <laughs> don't worry. But it is a very loving experience, and it is a very healing experience, and a lot of the research that is being done currently is showing us that psychedelics have amazing powers for healing. Of course, we didn't already know that psychedelics have healing powers. We have to get Western science to confirm it, so then eventually it'll be legal and people can stop going to jail. We're just trying to heal themselves with a little plant that grew out of the ground, but, you know, it is what it is, right? <laughs> so over at John Hopkins University and New York University, they're doing some pretty incredible studies with psychedelic-assisted therapy. And I believe they're putting psychedelic-assisted therapy on the ballot for Oregon in 2020. So if you're in Oregon, vote yes after watching this video because it will be such a great experience. And I've honestly thought like, if that goes through, I might want to just move to Oregon and become a psychedelic therapist. But the research they're finding is pretty amazing. It has shown that consuming psychedelics, a single experience, can have effects on your depression and anxiety for up to six months. So if you just take one trip on mushrooms, let's say, for what takes a period of four to six hours, then you can be good on your mental health for up to six months. It can alleviate the symptoms and effects of depression and anxiety, including treatment-resistant depression. So this is depression that even the big pharma pills and all the talk therapy, it's not working on. Yet psychedelics can help with this kind of depression. And it's a life-changing experience, and you'll also save a bunch of money on your depression medication. And you'll have to waste money on Big Pharma, who has classified these drugs as dangerous and unsafe, because Big Pharma is a farm, and you are the animal on that farm that they are trying to cage. But you're just like, nope, the high vibrations of the psychedelics, the plants are speaking to me, and I am unshackling my mind from all the bullshit and the lies that have been coming my way and realizing that if a little plant can save me rather than what some mad scientist concocted in a lab to make money for the purposes of making money, then you might want to consider it. So the research in John Hopkins, they've also showed that it can help cancer patients, terminal cancer patients. They have these profound experiences on these trips of psychedelic assisted therapy and it helps to alleviate their depression and anxiety and anxiety towards death. So it can help these cancer patients 
These patients who know that their death is imminent and it can help them to accept it and appreciate their lives and have a feeling of peace. And a lot of times on psychedelics, you can have really profound mystical experiences that help you come to an acceptance and gratitude for your life. And it's really quite amazing what it can do. Uh, there's another study that I read, I think this one was at John Hopkins too, it was an addiction study, and 80% of the smokers in this study were able to quit smoking for a period of up to six months, which seems to be the magic number with these psychedelic assisted therapies. And it's just like, these really heavy addictions that people have can be cured or alleviated or it can help them with psychedelics and these single experiences. Like I've heard people many times who have said that a single psychedelic experience has cured them of their addiction and it has helped their mental health a lot. And so I want to read you all a quote really quick, which I've got right here on my note card because it's kind of long, but it's from the man himself, the crazy psychonaut, Terence McKenna. Terence McKenna, everybody. So what he says is, psychedelics are illegal, not because a loving government is concerned that you may jump out of a third story window, Psychedelics are illegal because they dissolve opinion structures and culturally laid down models of behavior and information processing. They open up, they open you up to the possibility that everything you know is wrong. And that is so true. For me, in my experience, not that I've ever done psychedelics anywhere where it might be considered illegal, but hypothetically if I have, that rings very true to me because early along in my awakening journey, psychedelics helped me out a lot because I had just left my whole worldview behind. Basically, I had been raised in a religion my whole life and I started researching it for myself and doing a lot of hard digging and asking hard questions and I realized that for 21 years, everything that I had been raised to believe was a lie, and everything that I thought I knew about the universe was not true. So, needless to say, I was very depressed and I was having a really bad time with it. Like, really bad. I'm gonna keep it high vibe, but just know it was seriously, seriously really bad. Like, to the degree that if I had not consumed psychedelics, I might not be here with you all today. So, really, it can cause a huge change and benefit for people in their lives. And for me, I was lucky enough to have a friend suggest magic mushrooms. And this experience helped me to come to terms with my existential dread and the nihilism that I was currently facing. And I was able to see the value in life and to feel good again and to feel beautiful. And like, even if everything that I thought was true in my old religion was not true, I can still find value in my experience and value in this life. And I'm very grateful for the experience because it has completely changed my outlook on life. And a lot of times people will try and scare you <clears throat> about psychedelics and say, oh, it changes your brain, it changes the way your brain works, and it's just like, good <laughs> you're not scaring me so many people talk about how they are just plagued by their mental health issues and they wish that they could change and it's like just wish on a magic mushroom and maybe you'll get your wish and you really just learn to slow down and stop and smell the roses and maybe you'll make friends with those roses because one of the effects of psychedelics is you can feel an interconnectedness to everything and a lot of people feel like connected to plants, like they can actually feel the energy of a plant and they can talk to a plant. And it heightens all of your senses and your feelings and all of your abilities and if you have psychic powers it heightens those too. And I'm going to try and make videos about that sort of thing in the future, so if you're interested in that go ahead and give us a like and leave a comment about all the amazing things that you want to know about psychedelics or your own experiences. And I know that I've been very positive in speaking about these psychedelics because they have so many amazing effects, but you do want to consider it carefully and not just consume a mountain of mushrooms because if you dose too high, you're not going to like it.
So you want to be careful and in the studies these people were assisted by therapists and in tradition it's usually a shaman who will take you on these trips, who will take you on these spirit journeys. So you don't just want to haphazardly go about it. You want to know your dosage. Remember set and setting is very important. So your set, the way you're feeling with your mentality and your setting is where you're at and the things that will be interacting with you. And you want to make sure it is a safe space where you will feel safe to confront all the emotions that come up. And you want to have someone who can guide you through this experience. If not a psychedelic therapist or a shaman, hopefully someone who has had these experiences before and someone you trust who can guide you through the things that might come up. Because bad trips are possible. It's not as likely as rumors would make you believe, but it is possible. And a lot of times when I've seen people have bad trips, it's people who are hiding things from themselves, people who are very avoidant, people who have these emotional issues that they don't want to face. Because when you try psychedelics, it will bring these issues and these emotional woundings right to the foreground and it will be very visceral and very real and you will experience it in a new way that you have not yet experienced it. So we call this a challenging trip. It's not a bad trip, it's just a challenging trip because you're confronted with these wounds that you have and psychedelics will show you these wounds and it can be overwhelming and scary but you and your guide, if you have a guide, can help work through it and the mushrooms or the DMT or whatever psychedelic medium that you're using can show you a truth about this wounding and help you to understand it so that you can heal yourself because the psychedelics itself are not the ones healing you they're showing you the way to heal yourself so you have to pay attention and treat it very respectfully and that is how it can be this amazing healing experience Another thing that I want to warn about for anyone considering psychedelics is that individuals who have a history of psychosis or schizophrenia or these extreme mental issues in their family, they may want to really consider whether or not they're willing to try it because there have been cases where individuals, their schizophrenia is activated by doing certain substances and this could be like someone just smoking weed and then it happens because weed fun fact is also a psychedelic most people don't think of it as a psychedelic but surprise you know a lot of people who have consumed a lot of psychedelics in your life probably but if you do have these medical histories in your family I would definitely want to consult your local shaman before you consider trying it because you know this can be an amazing healing experience but there are things to consider and there are factors that you want to make sure everything lines up so you can have the best, most amazing healing experience possible. And psychedelics are very, very magical and they have a magical history. In occult practices and esoteric teachings, there have been many schools that have used these uh, ethnogens to have a mystical experience. And you can use these psychedelics to connect with your own inner divinity and connect with God or the universe or source energy. So many people have reported these similar experiences of meeting God or realizing that they are one with the universe and their ego is dissolved and recognizing that everything is connected. That is like <laughs> the goal of enlightenment in a lot of traditions and you can experience it albeit briefly and you might forget about it on psychedelics but it is a tool that can help you and to disrupt the patterns of your old way of thinking and get you into these magical experiences and so in the Gnostic tradition we know that in order to manifest and do magic you need to get into that single pointed mind that single pointed focus where you know that you are one with the universe and because you are one with the universe, that is when you can do magic and you can create change and you can manifest in your reality because you are the universe and so you are everything. And psychedelics help you realize that you are everything and you don't need to worry because the universe is you and the universe is loving and made of love and you love yourself. 
Uh, to quote my friend who introduced me to magic mushrooms, he said, mushrooms make you feel like they love you. And it's true, because they do. And you can have these really, truly powerful experiences of healing. And it can change the way that you see your entire reality. Mushrooms help you get out of the stuck mindset. So in the studies they did in brain scans, the consumption of psychedelics shut off the default network. It's something that they have mapped out in the brain that deals with your default setting, your self-talk, your worries about the past and future. And it allows you to just come into the moment and to just be so that you're not worried about all these things in your life and you recognize what is truly important and what is real and what matters. And you can have such an amazing experience on psychedelics. And so I just wanted to make this video with you all because I've done a lot of psychedelics, hypothetically, and I want to share how meaningful it can be. And I want to start doing more videos about psychedelics because it is becoming more and more popular, so we're gonna need more guides to guide people through these experiences. So, I hope that you've enjoyed this video and you have learned to optimistically, yet carefully, consider psychedelics. And I'm not endorsing the consumption of it. The choice is yours, but I'm not endorsing it. So, take the information as you will and make the choice an informed choice not just based on some story you heard about some person jumping out of a window when they're on psychedelics, which doesn't really make sense because every time I've jumped out of a window while I'm on psychedelics, I can fly, so what are they even worried about? <laughs> but I really appreciate everyone tuning into this video. Much love to all of my ally, ally, allies out there. Have fun on your journeys, my fellow Psychonauts, and if you like the video, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll be seeing you all on the next video. Bye!